Okay, this is the fourth um, tutorial in the series, and this is uh, how to take all that training data that we made um, using the first three tutorials and put them into a GAN. And you can use any GAN at this point, but I'm just going to use Playforms GAN. But man, Higgs Belly's got an awesome one. Ricky's making an awesome one. Um, and um, but Playforms is most straightforward. The catch is it's going to cost ten dollars each time you make one. Um, but any you'll do, like I said. So let's start. Kicked it off just where we started last time. This is. The BitGAN training data generator release 1.0. We fixed a couple bugs, so here we go. I'm making 200 of them. Should go pretty fast. You see the code. We'll find out when it's done. Then we'll go look up. Seven seconds to make 200 of these guys. I'm going to go look in output where, where it is. And here they are. All right. Here they are. And you can see it's combined all the layers, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, download this, and then I'll show you how to uh, send it into Playform. All right, so getting uh, put it into a GAN, you need to use Higbelly is awesome one or Ricky. It's like I was saying, and those are some high quality. They're coming out with high quality. But the easiest uh, to do is Playform, um, just because it's, it's you can drag and drop. You don't even need to do any code. And so log in, I already have a login, and then find how to create a new project. I'm going to either hit here or up here, I'm going to go create a new project. And, uh, oh, you can see some of the ones I've already been working with on some of the collabs with people, showing them how to do it. But you go to create new project, select freeform. Um, it's going to ask you freeform, and it's going to explain what it is, and you say create. But we need to add the training data. So I'm going to say, you know, Pindar's training data. And I'm going to add a collection, right? So I'm going to upload images. And we're basically, there it is. These are the images I, I created with um, the, the CoLab notebook that uh, Ricky and Higgs worked on. Open them. It's going to start uploading them. And I'll call Pindar's training data. Uh, you have to you have to fill in all this stuff here. Uh, big cams, I don't know. You have to have a tag. Okay, so 200 images are uploaded. I added to my inspiration. Here we go. Um, you can add more, but this is it's going to train on these images right now. And up here, I can go begin training. Up in the top right, um, this should do. If you have a subscription you can go up to 100 but i'm going to just do it with you can open this up and mess around with there but since not everyone has a subscription we're just going to do it with 50 images and we're going to begin the training all right and there you go it's going to start thinking and uh it's going to be two and a half hours while it figures this out so i'm going to go out here and like a good cooking show you know i've already trained some here's the one two three eyes that i trained before so let's go take a look at them. Um, and uh, this is that. These are them. Uh, I know you can see once it's done, three hours later, you have this slider down here. And the slider will actually show you an animation. And then you can pick from this. This one gives you 64. So one thing you can do is find your favorite out of these 64. This one here looks interesting to me because the body split, so I might click on that. And I can use the slider to see how well it dances. There, it's on the left. Then it splits. And that's not the best one. I don't like it as much as I thought I would. So then I'll go back to the results. Uh, let's try this one. That's okay, but not the best. I'll go back to the results. Um, there's not really any that I'm looking for. I just want... Now this one looks interesting because it's off to the left. Right, let's try this one. I just want one that moves a lot. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, this one appears. Cool. Uh, cool, it disappears. And then reappears. Okay, this one's kind of neat because it's sort of like going between dimensions. So it appears and it's moving. The eyes change. I like it. Okay, so this is the one I want. 
So what I might go to is, so I'll go to is download and download all snapshots of this one. And it's going to give me a download right there. Okay. So here you have it, uh, all the images from the start to the uh, end I pulled down onto my hard drive um, and now I can start making animations out of them.